It's been nearly 46 years now since the biggest moment in Maine boxing history. On May 25, 1965 in Lewiston, Muhammad Ali knocked out Sonny Liston to remain world heavyweight champ. Now in 2011, professional boxing is illegal in Maine and the sport's popularity has plummeted. Prescott Rossi is here to explain. Prescott. Hi, Jim and Carolyn. The Ollie Liston fight in Lewiston is the only heavyweight title fight to ever be held in Maine. This once popular sport is on the verge of being knocked out, and now mixed martial arts is the preferred sport for fight fans. The winner, still undefeated, five in a row, all by knockout, Bobby Watley. You can't trust anybody in, in that sport. You know, it's something about it. You know, the, it's the greed. Many people who have been involved in Maine boxing have their theories as to why boxing's popularity in the state has dropped dramatically. Boxing is a generational sport, passed down from grandfather to son or, or uh, to grandson or father to son. It's a generational sport. That's not happening anymore. My very first year uh, as an amateur, I fought 30 times, uh, 32 times, because there was fights in Waterville, Skowhegan, Dexter, Dover, Portland. You could fight Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights because the economy was great. Uh, the money was there for, for individuals to have gyms. Uh, but now it's just, it, it's tough. There also is the issue of popular fighters. There are no local boxers that people recognize like Bobby Wadley and Joey Gamash. This problem also exists on the global level. I, I can't tell you who the heavyweight champion is right now. I don't know. The heavyweight champion in the world right now in boxing, I don't know and I don't care. Uh, the Russian guy, Klitschko, Klitschko. Is, does he hold it? Another big blow for boxing in Maine came a few years ago. There's a law in the books dating back to 1873, making prize fighting illegal in Maine unless governed by an athletic commission. When the Maine Athletic Commission was dissolved in 2007 as a cost-saving measure, that opened the door for mixed martial arts to become the top fighting sport in the state. A lot of different aspects to mixed martial arts. You have to be proficient, not just with your hands like boxers, but you have to be able to kick, you have to be able to wrestle. While the number of boxing gyms in Maine have fallen, the number of MMA gyms and schools have risen. MMA fighter Marcus Davis owns the Team Irish gym in Brewer. I'm training guys that are that want to fight. I'm training uh, men, women, and now I'm going to be training kids in a kids mixed martial arts class. Um, to, for whatever their goals are, I don't care what your goal is. With the rise of MMA, people have begun wondering what will keep mixed martial arts from going the same direction as boxing. Take care of the fighters. And be honest because uh, I think there's a lot of dishonesty in, in boxing and uh, it came back to haunt them. Tomorrow we will take a closer look at Maine's connection to mixed martial arts as the state prepares for its first MMA fights in late April. More news after this.